Good evening, Everblades fans, and welcome back to Hertz Arena for Country Night, the second of three games between the Florida Everblades and the Savannah Ghost Pirates. Big win on Wednesday for Florida, 3-2 in overtime. Logan Lambden, a pair of goals, including that OT winner, and Sean Jostling, two assists and a fight in the win. Two guys who were acquired at last year's trade deadline helped the Blades win the 2023 Kelly Cup, heating up at the right time to help the Blades in their playoff push to get ready to title defend again here in 2024. Speaking of the trade deadline, yesterday was the trade deadline for Florida. The Blades, the biggest movers and shakers around the ECHL before the 3 o'clock deadline, getting in a couple of deals last minute. Coming into Florida, they won't make their debuts tonight as they're both with their American Hockey League clubs, but forward Matthew Wedman, who's on nearly a point-per-game pace with the Fort Wayne Comets this year, and defenseman Zach Rizzola, who played 15 games for the Everblades back in the 2021 season. He will make his return, the Blades acquiring his reassignment rights from the Cincinnati Cyclones. Forwards Kieran Craig, Luke Santerno, Jimmy Soper, and defenseman Slava Demon all go the other way in those two deals. So the Blades bringing in a couple of quality pieces who won't be here tonight for Florida, but we can expect to see them sometime in the future. Here tonight, though, making his Everblades debut is forward Josh Hosang. Lots of people around the market and in the organization excited to see what the former Islanders first round draft pick can do. It's going to be his first hockey games in nearly a year. He played one game in the KHL last season, suffered an injury, took a long time, but he's ready to go tonight for the Florida Everblades will be suiting up on the right wing. Also, Chris Ortobody makes his return to the Blades lineup after being taken off the injured reserve. For the Savannah Ghost Pirates tonight, this game, they're playing for their season. Even though their playoff hopes are thin, they're still alive, but the combination of a regulation loss to Florida and a win by the South Carolina Stingrays, who are playing Orlando tonight, would officially eliminate Savannah from the playoffs. They would be the second team out in the South Division. It's a team that has made strides last year from finishing in the basement of the South Division last season. And even though their playoff hopes are about as thin as can be, they're still going to play for them tonight. So the Blades should be ready to go up against a very motivated Savannah Ghost Pirates group. The three keys to the game are presented by the Angela Griffith group of Downing Fry Realty. First off, the Blades. You've got Josh Hosang in the lineup for the first time tonight. You want to use that skill as much as you can. Find different ways to get him into the game. After I said, it's been nearly a year since he suited up for game action. He's been practicing well, looking good, having a great time being a member of the Blades. But game's obviously very different, especially a big matchup like this here in March. Second off, physicality with Ordabody coming back. That'll certainly help. But we saw some nastiness in the game on Wednesday, and there's no reason to think we won't see that here tonight on Country Night. So you can expect the Blades to really be focusing on their physical work along the boards, particularly for our final final key the work down low below the goal line in their own zone. One of Savannah's goals on Wednesday came off a wraparound where they had space down low. You don't want to give the Ghost Pirates any room along the walls inside the defensive zone, particularly below the goal line, because they can really work the puck from there and use it to create opportunities for their club. Country United at Hertz Arena, 239 Friday. Going to be a fun one. The Everblades and the Ghost Pirates. Warm-ups and puck drop coming up next. 